Hello guys, so I just moved to Germany this month as a robotics engineer and this would be my first vlog from this country, if you want to call this a vlog. Anyway, I've been a robotics engineer for some time now and that is what I am actually doing for a living in Germany. But prior to this, I was a master's student and I completed one year of my master's degree. And at this point in time, I am considering dropping out of my master's program. Let's have some context to this video. I am a robotics engineer, as I said, and I started my master's last year in robotics. My first year was in Italy and my second year was in Germany. After completing first year of my master's in Italy, I moved to Germany but deferred my master's program for one year. And as of today, I need to confirm my continuation of the program. And I am considering dropping out of my master's program entirely. Through this video, I want to document the entire process of how I came to this point and why I'm considering dropping out of my master's program. By the way, I love robotics, so it's not that I want to switch careers. Doing a master's has its benefits and I would not want to discourage anyone from pursuing a master's. This is more of a vlog for me. Let's look at my timeline to establish some base for this narrative. I graduated in 2016 as an engineer from India, which is also the country of my citizenship. Back then, I wasn't extremely sure about robotics and I wanted to experiment a lot with different career options. And that is what I ended up doing for the next three years. I experimented with different tech domains, music, non-tech domains to figure out what I really wanted to do. And towards the end of this phase, I fell in love with the idea of robotics and doing that for a living. So 2016 is where I complete my bachelor's and 2020 is when I start my master's program in robotics. My first year was in Italy and second year was in Germany. I started my master's program in Italy that was in Trento and I did one year of my master's in robotics there. So I learned quite a bit in the first year of my master's program but to be very honest the pace at which this master program went was not really satisfactory to me and I would actually end up spending a lot of my time not working on courses but on like extra projects for instance 50% of my time was spent working on projects which did not give me any credits I would just mail professors and ask them for interesting work and they would give interesting work to me and one of these projects led to a really really great experience in computer vision robotics and AR and when I started my second year the pandemic was still around classes were online in my second university in Germany so I decided to defer my second year because I found no value in getting a piece of paper which is a degree but not really experiencing the classroom and also not being able to network with people, be in touch with professors and do everything which you would do in a master's program physically. So instead of moving from Italy to Germany for my second year of master's, I moved from Italy to Germany but I started working instead. I started working with an amazing robotics startup in Germany and that has been my best experience so far. I love the people I was working with in the startup. Really smart, we were on the same page technically and even otherwise. Um, I was learning a lot from them. I was able to provide a lot of value to the company. I was having a shitload of fun building there. And very sarcastic people though. Uh, but a lot of fun overall. Then I decided to continue working there because this was the best place I worked in till date. And I just did not want to lose out on all the fun I was having while building robots here. So talking about the idea of dropping out right now, the problem is I have a shitload of fun where I'm working and no graduate program can really compete with what I'm doing right now technically or even management wise because I am learning a lot of stuff technically and professionally and even if I complete my masters I would have to spend this one year as a student again and I would have to like not work for this one year full time. Most people have actually discouraged me to take this decision and they say that you have to complete your master's program and then you can do whatever you want. The idea for me was that if I can complete my master's program in parallel to what I'm doing right now with these people, I would definitely love to do that. But if I had to choose between a master's program and what I'm working on right now, there is no freaking chance in the world that I will choose a master's program just because it gives me a degree and that apparent safety net. I'll tell you how I look at these university degrees and this mostly holds true for a master's degree for me. For me. If you want to work in the industry after your master's, these degrees are mainly used for two purposes. One, to get visa. Two, to get an insurance policy which promises you that you will at least get an interview call for companies. 
but apart from that as far as my aspiration goes i don't find any value in these if i wanted to work for ultra big mncs in robotics or computer vision i would say that these these degrees are still important because working in such big corporations as research scientists or like whatever role you have technically would require you to have a master's degree or even a phd degree without that you might not even be considered but my aspirations are not around working in big corporations i just don't want to work in big corporations at all i actively move away from opportunities in big corporations because i do not find them interesting enough for me now i'm not saying that these opportunities are bad these are really great for people who want them i don't really want them i like working in startups and small companies i want to build systems and i want to be responsible for building an entire system now this usually happens in startups and small companies more often than bigger companies and i also really love startups which have the right culture now that is very hard to find with respect to people the kind of work you want uh the the city you want to live in and all of that in my case it's paramount that i work in these companies and that is the case right now i absolutely love what i'm doing as i said before i absolutely love the company i'm working with and i just do not want to change anything imagine if i leave this opportunity just to find a safety net in a masters degree program now another question which comes up very often is why can't you wait one year why are you being impatient about this i actually look at this in a very different light i have no problem waiting for 1 2 3 4 5 years and then starting work and then building stuff but these 1 2 3 or 4 5 years have to be worthwhile for me if i'm finding more value in something else why would i want to spend this one year doing something which does not have as much value as me working to build an entire system the kind of learning i've had in the last 4 to 5 months is amazing and i can't really compare it with any masters program to be very honest yeah of course i will not have a degree to show in the end if i drop out but i don't want that policy i i am okay with not having that because i think in the end my skills matter more than my degree and maybe 30% of the people in the world do not agree with that they would want a degree as the first proof of skills but maybe i'm okay not even looking at those 30% people So if I drop out of my master's program what happens with me right now is the following I have a lot of fun doing what I'm doing right now but I don't get a degree I cannot lose the first one for the second one I think I'm being very patient about my career if I am choosing to not continue my master's program I am in no rush to be very honest I can wait out as many years as I want but I don't even see the point of that degree versus what I'm doing right now If a degree is ever a problem in my career which is not about academic research or working in big corporations I think I just need to learn to sell myself better and nothing else and I think that is a much better exercise than seeking out a degree just to have this false safety net in my case I just don't want to spend one year doing something which has a lot less value than what I'm doing right now Again, it's my responsibility to make sure it is never a problem and if it's a problem it's just on me right like there is no university I will blame. Okay, so this was a rather impromptu video about me going through this process to decide if I want to drop out of my master's program or not. It looks like I might, but I'll know in a couple of days anyway. Anyone's curious about my journey and especially the first 3 years of my career where I experimented a lot to figure out what I really wanted to do, which is robotics now. but that was not really clear back then um i have a medium blog which was surprisingly very well received by so many people i will share the link in the description of this video and i hope it gives value to more people somehow and as far as my decision goes i just hope i take the right decision i probably know what the right decision is already let's see thank you Bye-bye.